Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 10th episode of King Penny's Podcast, man. They try to shut us down, but they can't. We're going to push through, man. Hey, we got a special guest today, man, a local Longmont businessman, man, entrepreneur. Hey, you know the entrepreneurs always bring the smile up out of me, man. I love the spirit, man. Hey, so let's welcome our guest, man. Hey, so let's start off, man. Your name, where you from? Okay, so my, I go by my nickname, Chocho. I got that since when I was a kid, a, a baby, because uh, I was cheeky. So that's why I got Chocho from. So everybody knows me by my nickname, not my real name. So I'm more used to my nickname than my real name. Uh, and yeah, and I've been here Longmont since like I was since like I was 16, 17, somewhere around there. You like it? Yeah, I love Longmont. That's I love Colorado. I love Long, but I love Longmont more. I like Longmont. I, love, I mean, there's a lot of nice places, but to live, I, I'm comfortable. I, I love it here. I like it here. That's legit, yeah. bro. What's the family looking like? Good. I got uh, my wife. I got one daughter and one son. Oh, okay. they grow up too fast, but I'm happy where I'm at. Hey, look, I would ask you how the kids is. But I think you're getting <laughs> old now. You ain't as young as you used to be. <laughs> Still young. Hey, man, nah, because I heard uh, the son, he balls, right? Or he plays basketball? Yeah, no, he was. He was doing yeah. pretty good. Uh, I mean, he still. He, I'm pretty sure he still plays good, right? But he was playing through school. Yeah. So now that he's okay. out of school, he's just working, you know. Nah, that's so, legit. And he's at that point where he's just, like, looking to see what he wants to do. Yeah. All right. So what do you do for a living? So I do window tinting. For Lama community, Colorado community, anybody. Yeah. So whoever wants to come down, we continue. Where are you, lo where are you located at? We're at 1136 Kimbark Street here in Longmont. Okay, all right. So what all, what all do you offer, like, as far as tent goes? like? So uh, right now, I, all I got, I mean, people have asked me that. So all I do is window tent right now. Okay. But I'm looking to do, like, you know, smoke lights, but with, like, the tent. It's like a, a tent material for the, for the lights and stuff. Yeah. That and... I don't know. I'm just, there's a few more things that I'm kind of thinking if I want to do, but uh, more, you know, doing more things, it'll take more time. So it's just that's kind of where I'm at right now because window tint is right now it's going pretty good. So yeah, no, but you're, you're the crazy thing about it. I see you all over social media, right? Yeah. What was the thing that you did with the temperature check through the tent? Oh, okay. So it's a it's a so it's a meter that meters the 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 heat yeah okay so there's there's different uh material for tent a lot of people could kind of think the darker the more heat is gonna block yeah but no it doesn't work like that it's it's uh the material so i mean it's it's the basic the middle one and the expensive good one yeah. you know so that meter check that's why i did it because i did a the one the video you're talking about I'm explaining how hot it was that day with that meter, and then I put it towards the window, and it dropped all that heat. Yeah. So, so that particular video that you're talking about, I had recently installed ceramic tint. So that's the best okay. tint right now. All right. It's called ceramic tint. Yeah. So that's what that meter was for to show how I was pointing it to towards the sun, how hot it was, and then I brought it into the car where the where the tint I installed yeah. on that ceramic tint, and you've seen how much it, yeah, it, it dropped drop a lot. Oh man! So that's what that ceramic tint is. It's the best tint, oh, okay. you know. So so I have three different options. So I mean, if you just want to do something basic, whatever, we can do it. If you want like the middle. We can do it. And if you want ceramic, it's the best choice you can do, and we can do it. Hey, man, I heard that. So you don't do uh, – because I remember back in the day, right, you used to do, like, lettering. And didn't you used to, like, put letters on – No, no, no. Uh, the... So I got friends that make stickers and stuff. Yeah. So I can still do that. Oh, okay. So, like, I'll be tinting, and, uh, and I got a lot of friends that, oh, I want a sticker, or who can make stickers? So I can, you know – Oh, okay. You know, it's just the connections. I, okay, I know somebody who does them. Okay, can you get them? Yeah, I can get them for you. But that's in the VIP section. Yeah. <laughs> the company. Yeah. Oh, okay. No, no, you know, like, yeah, I'll get them for you. I'll, get, I'll have a friend. He, if he can do them, he'll make them, and he can. So he'll make them, and then just people, while we're there, they'll hit me. Can you put them out for me? I, I like doing what I do. So, yeah, of course, I, I'll help them out. So speaking of doing what you do, what did you do before? I worked at a trash company in Boulder. Oh, okay. All right. So I worked there for many years and... Yeah. yeah. So why did you decide finally decide to take the leap into you know what I mean, running your own business or because where I'm at, my age and doing so okay, I was at this trash company for fifteen years. Yeah. I started window tinting ten years ago. 
So I was doing both for 10 years, right? Wow. And uh, right now, I'm, I just, where I'm at, I just started getting, you know, physically tired my, by myself because doing both jobs over there, trying to hurry up over there to come over here and do what I got to do over here. And, you know, sleep, uh, eating right, and a whole bunch. It's just, just a whole bunch of little stuff that um, at the end, I just, I just I just started feeling it myself like it was getting heavy for me so yeah. I, I had to make that decision so nervous were you nervous like when it happened or you mm, yeah nervous you get nervous you I was nervous because obviously because the income and stuff you know yeah. you I mean I have my family yeah. I have my family <laughs> and then uh, the income and just little things like that yeah, because Longmont's not nice, man, especially with the price. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's going up, but, I mean, you pay for, like, to live in a good yeah, area. Yeah, 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 like that. So, yeah. Yeah, you get what you pay taking, for. But taking that risk, I'm sure, yeah. like, you know what I mean? Like, yes. Was it was a tough one, man. Yeah. So, would you, what would you suggest to up-and-coming entrepreneurs or, you know what I mean, people who are thinking about taking that leap? Like, what, what suggestions would you I give I think them? first, you got to make sure you're, you're right. Like, I mean like you got to make sure you're whatever if they have a regular job and then they're doing the side what they like to do as a side job but they're gonna go to that full time is that what you mean yeah yeah you, you just got to make sure you know what you're doing at first because you can't just you can't just go start something and be like oh, i'm gonna quit my job because i want to start doing you know because you got you have a lot to learn you have a lot to learn. Well, because, I mean, longer than 10 years. You've been tinning for how long, though? Like For, for, for about 10 years. For about for 10, 10 years, years like yeah. you just been... Yeah, doing. so, so, that, so yeah, that, that's what I mean. Uh, that's why it took me 10 years to quit my my main job. Yeah. Because it's like everything. You, 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 uh, you're learning. You're doing something. You're... Um, you want to master your craft. Yeah. That, I got you. Yeah, you want to master your craft. And because... So it's a trash company. So before I started window tinting, you know, we're working, you're whatever, you just by yourself, you're thinking. And I mean, that, that's why I started because I was thinking, what do I want to do when I'm older? Because I've heard a lot of people leave trash companies because they get hurt or whatever. And I, I would just think about all that. And that's one of the reasons I started window tinting because I'm like, okay, I might be pretty beat up when I'm older, work working at this trash company so i'm what am i gonna do after yeah. i still want to keep working so so i'm like oh window tinting it's not a it's not a how do you say it? it's not a heavy job yeah. like how do you say it? it's not it's well, too it's not, physical yeah. Not physical is trash yeah it's, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's i mean it's, it's, it's pretty tough it's mentally like you have to have a lot of patience yeah. and all that so then i'm like i'm gonna start window tinting that's why i started when I was a kid, my brother, my older brother, he's he's a businessman. He has a deal car dealership. Yeah, he owns uh, what's the one? Vista Auto Sales. Vista Auto Sales, Sales, right there by Seventeen. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, way before when I was a kid, he sent me to go help one of his friends window tinting. Kind of gave me like a little job. I was like a little helper, but I was younger. I didn't, I didn't pay attention. I was just I mean I paid attention, but I wasn't like I didn't really want to work. So yeah. I was I just wanted to be with my friends and stuff. You know, when all the kids, I was a kid too. But like certain little things stuck to me, so so then I talked to my brother. He had his car dealership. So I'm like, what if I start window tinting? And I can start doing your your cars. He's like, yeah. You know, he gave me that opportunity too because he was taking it to some other guy here in Longmont. He's like, yeah. And that way, you know, help him out. He helps me out, and that helped me out a lot because I was getting a lot of work when I was starting. You know what I mean? So I had to learn. I had to learn. I had to learn. Uh, so that's what I mean. You got to learn before you leave your main job because you gotta you just have to have, be prepared yeah. be prepared because it, it's even now i still have hard times there's like cars that i've never tinted and i'll get one and i'm like oh i'll just have to check it out real quick stuff yeah. because it's something different but i mean it always turns out because you know i i, I know how to uh, i already understand my my my, my uh, film how it works so you know but that's why you got to know what you're doing because you know, if you start to do, you quit your main job and you start doing something else and it doesn't work, that's going to suck. Especially if, you know, you have your family, your income, your home rent, car, whatever, that's going to be make it tough on you. Also, too, when it comes to business, right? Learning business. <clears throat> a lot of advertising now is just social media. So I see you on all platforms <laughs> yeah. like that. That's crazy to me. 
Yeah. Because, you know, I don't know how to work a lot of this yeah. stuff. Like, I have you. I try to figure it out and stuff like that. But I see you. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. we're, we're like same age. You know what I mean? You yeah. be navigating yeah. all through it on all platforms. Yeah. Snapchat, TikTok, yeah. uh, all Instagram. That, and all that, I do it all by myself. That's all crazy. By, by myself. Just with my phone. I don't have all, like a bunch of I want to know who the DJ camp. is. Because you always got the slaps on there. <laughs> who's, the, who's the DJ? Hey, so, you say Siri. Give yeah. me a song or somebody. Because somebody else has to be DJ. Yeah. No, no. It's, it's all it's all <laughs> worse. It's me that I do everything. So, I mean, I don't know. Do you have a TikTok? No. I'm okay. <laughs> so, so, see, so, see that you don't, you don't, so, see, you don't have it. And that's why you don't know. So then you you like hey so so the way TikTok works is like you 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 on TikTok it's like when you get on Instagram or whatever you're right you, you get a, you see a video you like that sound or song you save it so it saves to your to your TikTok page and you have it there on your favorites so then you know like I said I'm I'm I do everything with my phone just my phone I don't have somebody to come if somebody wants to come record me. Oh, camera! He's gonna shoot his shot. Hey, look here! You want to show me how to do it the right way for, for yeah. free? Look at me! Like, show me. He said, I'll no, you. so so that that's how it works. You just I, I I learned how to do it just by myself. Like so, and I use all my my social media to make it happen. So what I do, I just grab my phone, boom, set it right here, boom. I'll just set it right there. Start recording little clips. I'll set it over here, another little clip. Give me from different angles, mm -hmm. and I'm saving every little clip. So at the end of the day, when I'm done working and everything, like I'm not just there messing with my phone or thing when I'm doing a customer's car. No, I'm working on the customer's car. But since I want to make videos because I want, I know the customer is going to be happy to see their car in a video getting tinted. So that's one of the reasons I like to do it too because I know they're going to like it. And uh, so I'll use Snapchat to to record all my little videos. Boom! I'll put my phone here. Then I start working. It stops. I saved it. Boom! I put it somewhere. That's just how it goes. I mean, it's a little bit of time consuming, but but it, it works out. And I mean, it doesn't take too much time for me to change a customer's car and have the customer waiting all day. No, they don't. Um, so then I do like little clips here and there. So at the end of the day, like I said, when I'm done working, that's when I get on my phone. I'll start. Uh, I'll. Uh, crop uh, how do you say it? i'll crop it i'll um yeah you know trim, I, it, trim, it, trim it i'll start trimming like all my little videos and then i'll save them and then they stay in my gallery so then i'll go to tiktok yeah. so then on tiktok that's how you do it you put all the everything you want to put together and then the music you saved you just decide what song you want to put or what audio you want to put and then that's where it happens so then when that happens tiktok saves it and then then that's where I share it to my Snapchat, my Instagram, my Facebook, and that's where everybody sees it. Yeah, you know, and 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 and, and it helps me because oh uh, well, no, not not that it helps me. Like I said, I like doing it, and uh, because people are seeing their cars get tinted, and they're seeing the change in the car because a car when it's a fishbowl and it gets tinted, there's a, yeah, a difference. It, difference. it feels yeah. different. Even people tell me like it feels like I'm in a brand new car. Like if they they don't have a Call a brand new car, but it didn't have tint. Once they get the tint, they're like, feels like I'm in a brand new car, you know. And I've even had people ask me, "Hey, um, can you can you do a video of my car too when you tint?" You know, so, oh, yeah, so yeah, that, yeah, that's all, what I'm saying. So time, I know people yeah. like it, yeah. and I know people don't mind it, but uh, you know, I know people like it. So yeah, because no, I remember uh, 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 Manny. He got his, I think, his wife's windows tinted or something like that. They we uh, used to work at uh, the trash company with uh -huh. you, and he showed up to my gym with. It. I was like, "Chocho, -cho, oh, the other like, one, yeah, yeah." I was no, like, well, <laughs> well, no, oh yeah. So then he he got a. So that's going back to the sticker thing. So yeah, I did his wife's. We tinted his wife's windows, yeah. the two front ones, and then. Uh, so he just got a, another car, like a, a yellow Camaro or Pontiac. I don't remember what it was. But then he he got it with uh, no stickers, and he ordered his own stickers that go on that car, like original stickers, something yeah. like that. So then, same thing, like going back to the sticker thing. He says he sees my videos, and he he, he hit me up. Hey, can you can you help me out with it? You know, and then we got a video of that too, where we're putting the stickers on his car, and it big difference yeah. when we put those stickers on it. Same, you know, everything changes when you put something on. So, well, yeah, when you customize it, and, yeah. you know what I mean, it looks clean though. Cause yeah. I, I see some of the videos, but also too, I see this car that you got. What is this red Coke can that you... Uh, this red Coke, Coke can. can. <laughs> you know, it's classic like a can of Coke. Classic yeah. like a can of Coke. What, <laughs> guy, man? what is this? What, is, what, what uh, year is that? It's a 1968 Chevy Impala. Yeah, that's clean. I'm gonna need a picture of that to throw on here. Like, oh, yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. I'm gonna show everybody, hey, that thing's yeah. clean. So that's, a, so that's another thing that... Like, um, 
you know, it's like everybody. I'm not the only one, but anybody in life who wants something, if you really want it, you're gonna go get it, right? So this is a car that my brother had when I was a kid. So, so I'm talking about my older brother. Uh, he's like, oh, I don't want to. I don't know how old he is. I don't remember how old he is. Yeah. But he's. I think he's like maybe eight or seven years older than me. Oh, okay. So then when I was a kid, he was like, he was like, he was like. 16 17 too i think he had the same car yeah. low rider like that uh it was a nice car here in longma i'm pretty sure anybody remembers him back in the day in longma and remember that car so then i was a kid and i was in love with that car so then and then he sold it and that's when i was like i was heartbroken yeah. <laughs> you know so i always stuck with that and i always i always uh wanted to have the same car so when i was 16 17 i bought my first 68 uh, like that one because i wanted to build it like that one so i mean it didn't happen like i said i was still a teenager i was messing around with my friends whatever so i sold that one for cheap too and whatever it didn't happen and then later on in my life i bought another one i was like in my 20s or no 19 so i bought another one same thing i was just messing around you know not not paying attention to what i wanted in life and this and that. i just messing around in my life and i sold that one too and it didn't happen so then now I, I but i still wanted i still have that inside me that why I, I always wanted that car i'm like i have to do it i saw you really big in cars i saw that your your business also uh sponsored the uh car show at the uh, ymca yeah that like randy. you know what i mean you guys helped with uh help them put that on like, yeah for randy lopez you donated on that for randy uh, lopez so the boxing uh what's that boxing? La Familia La Familia. boxing yeah man yeah. that was super cool so how long so you've been in the cars for a while right yeah i want to switch gears though so you you grew up around like in boulder county and stuff like that so you had a lot of friends over the years right but some of them haven't went the same way that you went mm -hmm. like you kind of did the family thing the business thing and you're headed this way and everybody hasn't taken that route you know what i mean everybody has pitfalls and yeah, you know yeah. i mean shortcomings and stuff like that how have you maintained the focus to stay locked in on the family and on you know what i mean yeah, yeah. better yeah um a lot of a lot of it the main one the main thing is you right it's you who you are what you are what, what you have inside what everything the main thing is you but there's always you know how everybody everybody wants to talk about oh well me growing up and you know and, and it's true so the, the main thing for me is uh it's the same thing as most of everybody else our parents it starts with our parents so you know when i was a kid like same thing my, my dad was an alcoholic that's what he, that's what he died from he was an alcoholic he, he but before that when he was with my mom like you know they had their problems and everything and i was always the little one like crying in front of so then I, I always said to myself i'm gonna grow up and i'm not gonna be like him yeah with my girl with my, my wife you know so that's one that's the one that's why i'm still with my same girl since i was yeah uh, since for, i was i mean for yeah ever. since i was a teenager <laughs> yeah so that's that's that reason and then the family thing too like i didn't have my dad growing up after after me being a teenager i didn't have him with me you know so there's a lot of things i don't know either about having a dad because i didn't have a dad showing me all you know all that all those little things so that's that's for the from for the father's side and then on the maintaining my home and all that other stuff it's comes from inside of me i i want to give my kids that like i'm not i don't want to say i want to give them what i didn't have um i want to give them like well yeah what i didn't have but i'm not i don't mean like money wise you know what i mean it's just a, a, a union is that union together yeah, family yeah. To, being together and you know like i want my kid like like now i have my son helping me so i want him to see like you know you gotta work for what you want and stuff so that's something i would have wanted from my dad you know like so things just be, so just being better just being better like things better. you wanted to learn from your old man you you that's what i want to show my son like the little bit of whatever i know a little bit i want to show him because i want him to grow up knowing that i showed him you know what i mean no and that's things I wanted, but I didn't get it. So, you know, that's what that's kind of things like, you know, just little things like that. Yeah, no, nah, that's super cool, man. Yeah. Nah, but like I said, man, I brought you on here, man, because I wanted to applaud what you're doing, man. Like the risks you took, like leaving, you know what I'm saying? A, a, a great job. Yeah, you know it, was, I mean? it was. Yeah, like it is. That, to moving and doing your own thing, man, mm -hmm. and putting it on the line and, 
You know what I mean? But mastering your craft all in the process before you jumped out the yeah. window. Yeah. <laughs> that's <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean? that's the main the thing. Way. You gotta like you said, master the craft. You yeah, gotta, yeah, man. You gotta learn what you, you gotta know what you're doing. So you know what I mean? So I want to make sure we spotlight, man, highlight the motivation, man. Uh yeah. you know what I'm saying? And tell them again where they can find you at. We're at eleven thirty six Kimbark Street here in Longmont, Colorado. And then uh the social media handle is uh uh so you guys can find me in Facebook it's uh well hold on the, the instagram though is the ch8 ch8 underscore compian is my last name yeah so we'll blast that on the bottom up here we'll blast his socials man you gotta check him out baby hey put some funny stuff up man like yeah <laughs> and the videos be great too like the music i don't i'm gonna figure out who this dj is <laughs> because i don't know if you remember you i don't know if you remember when we very first met right so i like, remember that uh, a lot man like there's once well, there's one specific song <laughs> I always hear that song. And I remember that's like when we met, hey, when we would finish our route. Hey man, I'm trying to tell you that was like. For you, real, you, you probably don't remember that song, but you, you yeah. want me to tell you? No, 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 no not here, not in front of America. Don't blast me on here. But no, I remember back in the day, like, uh, but the thing about it is, bro, you've always been supportive. You always had a positive attitude, man. So, like I said, I want to plug. Because even, like, one of my very first rap concerts, you were there. Uh -huh. Like, back in the day. Yeah. Like, we're talking about, like, super. It was 2000. When I met you, it was 2007. <laughs> Bro, that's when I made me help because man, yeah bro. it was 2007 because that's when uh that's when I started yeah so it's like yeah man so it's like rap and all that stuff man yeah, but yeah. uh no nah, man like I said man the family thing is great bro like the business is great man the person you becoming is great and giving back you uh -huh. know what I mean to the community to the boxers like you used to box back in the day yeah. so giving helping with that man I mean, I'm trying to tell you, I'm on the outside looking in, bro, and I and I and I'm trying to say no, I'm and, and, and like I said, if you really want it, you're gonna get it because. It's how it is. Like when you want something, you're gonna go get it. When you start getting hungry, yeah, you're. What are you gonna do? You're gonna go get food. That's yeah. how it is. You're just gonna go get it. So like how right now you're saying everything's great. Yeah, everything. I mean, we can't always just say mm, great. I mean, to people, people are always gonna think you're doing oh whatever. Yeah. But I mean, like we all have normal lives. We all, you know, things get hard sometimes. I mean, it could be your, with your family. It could be at the business. It could be whatever. You know, everybody has problems. Everybody has stuff like that you know what i mean so i mean it's just what how you want to deal with all of it just you just gotta think and do the right choices but like you said earlier too not not everybody goes the same route everybody takes different exits yeah so okay man blast it man hey man i'm king penny man you're here with chocho -Cho, man go see him for all your window tent needs man i'm gonna drop the address on the bottom of this man you guys check him out man tap in all the stuff he's doing hey Longmont, i appreciate you guys joining us man chocho -Cho, king penny man we're out of here man i'm gonna need one of these hats though yeah cut the cameras <laughs> Hey, what's up everybody? So we're at the shop now. This is a heat box display that we have here at the shop. As you can see, there's a light bulb inside which gets pretty hot and that is to show you what our three films do. So this is a Pro, Pro Classic 20% right here. So that's just a regular basic tint. You're gonna feel heat and it's just for looks. We have the carbon tint which blocks a little bit of heat and uh it protect i mean it's gonna it's not gonna turn purple on you it's not gonna bubble up it's good film it's uh you know in the middle class kind of and after carbon we have the ceramic tint 20 percent right there and it's the same and uh the fourth one it's a ceramic 50 percent the higher the number the lower the tint the more clear so the dark the lighter the smaller the number it's the darker the tint and the higher the number the lighter the tint so this is a 50 ceramic you can see the light bulb pretty good right there so right here i have a meter i'm going to turn it on it has a low battery but it still works it's at zero i'm going to turn on the light bulb inside of the heat box display i'm going to put it first so you can see the basic tint we'll start with the basic tint so i'm going to turn it on it's on right there you feel if you come by you can feel it yourself with your hand uh, here's the meter. So, okay, I'm just gonna pick it up. I'm gonna pick it up and put it right here by the. And it's reading, it's at the 300s, whatever. Okay, so now 
I'm gonna turn the box. Now it's at the carbon tint and see how it drops. See how it drops the, the temperature. Temperature drops, it's at carbon 20%. And now I'm gonna turn it to ceramic. Here is it, it's at on ceramic and right there you can see how much lower it dropped. So that's what ceramic tint, the tint does. It blocks out as much heat possible. So it's the best tint. And so that's the best choice you could do for your vehicle because we're always in our cars, you know, and having that sun beat on your face, it's pretty tough. This is a 50% ceramic window tint and see it does the same thing. It's lighter than the 20%. And it also does the same thing. It's still gonna block out all that heat. Okay, so anytime anybody feel, feel free to stop by, stop by at our shop. We're at 1136 Kimbark Street, uh, Unit B. You can stop by and check it out if you're interested in this heat box display to see what, what our tent does and what you would like to install in your vehicle, you know, in the future or now or whenever. We can set up an appointment and get you in and get you taken care of.